$20 million penthouses, $50 million mansions, and from there, it only gets crazier. These are the most expensive houses of soccer players. Now, you can't bring up spending millions without mentioning Neymar, cause in 2020, he made 95 million dollars. So, it's only right he blew 10 million on a house that you can literally land a helicopter on. Sheesh! And I thought my mom's basement was the place to be at. This dude's literally living on a movie set. No, really, they actually filmed The Expendables at his house. But it ain't surprising when you're living in the Beverly Hills of Rio. See, Neymar's mansion, it sits in the gated community of Portobello, and with six bedrooms and bathrooms, an underground wine cellar with over 3,000 bottles, and a gym big enough for his entire PSG team, his house is damn near a hotel. But the outside is where things get crazy. Dude not only has a tennis court, but a beach volleyball court too. And would it really be a celebrity's home without a ridiculous pool? Come on now, of course he's got that, it's Neymar. But see, he's special. Neymar's the only pro athlete that can land a helicopter and dock an $8 million yacht in his backyard. Dude's living like a king. And well, with a home like this, I didn't think you could top it. But then I found out about Lionel Messi. He not only bought the rarest mansion in Barcelona, he literally bought his entire neighborhood. Yeah. See, in 2020, Messi made more money than LeBron, Stephen Curry, and Tiger Woods. So, of course he's been blowing a bag. And not only does he buy more cars than I buy shoes, dude literally bought a $9 million mansion that's so exclusive, the president banned planes from flying over it just so Messi doesn't have to hear them. We flew in and got the exclusive look. Uh, are you seeing this? Uh, I need a vacation. Let me just text my boy Messi real quick and uh, see what's good with that. Oh, damn. Uh, anyways, this dude's crib has everything an athlete needs. On the inside, Messi's got an entire floor dedicated to his personal gym. I'm talking treadmills, benches, dumbbells, and an entire wall commemorating Muhammad Ali. No wonder Messi's a six-time Ballon Dior winner. He wakes up every single day and is reminded to become a legend. But how many soccer players can actually say they got an entire room in their house dedicated to basketball? Yeah, Messi can literally run full court games in his mansion. Just, just look at that jump shot, man. Messi might just surprise us and become the third Splash Brother. You never know. But uh, on the outside, that's where things get insane. See, when Messi ain't training to be the best in the world, he could spend hours at his pool with a ridiculous view of the mountains and the Balearic Sea. It's cause he's got an entire soccer field in his backyard. Yeah, dude takes his game that seriously. And he makes sure to practice here every single day, even if his dog gets in the way. But as dedicated as Messi is to his craft, he made sure his family can have fun here too. He had a personal playground built for his kids. And he constantly posts pictures of his family bonding here. But don't let his pearly white smile fool you. Messi may seem like a laid back and chill guy, but one day when his neighbors pissed him off, Back in 2013, Messi's neighbors rented their house to a bunch of college kids. And well, in a paradise like this, you already know things can get crazy. Yeah. And one night, things went way too far. See, Messi was laying down after a heartbreaking loss. So all he wanted to do was get some rest. 
but all he could focus on was the pool party next door. Music blasting, cars drag racing, kids jumping off the roof like Project X. Eventually, enough was enough, man. So Messi opened up his phone, checked his bank account, and he saw 600 M's. And he realized he's worth way too much to deal with all of that. Now, he let them have their fun for one final night. But the next morning, he bought every single one of his neighbor's houses. Yeah, dude really spent over 20 million dollars just for peace and quiet. 20 M's man, things can't get crazier than that, right? Well, David Beckham's homes cost more than Messi's entire neighborhood. See, throughout David's career, he made over 800 million dollars. And if you know anything about him, it's that he's addicted to flexing. And that's why he copped the most expensive penthouse of any athlete ever. Damn. Man's put my GTA character to shame, Jesus Christ! Now, I know what you're thinking. How can I get an apartment like that? Well, it's easy, man. All you gotta do is become one of the greatest soccer players in history and throw $28 million his way. Then you can live like David Beckham. Maybe. Uh, well, to be honest, there's no way I'd give this up if I were him, so you might be out of luck. But anyways, his Miami crib is at the top of a 700 foot tall skyscraper, where you have an insane view of the Miami skyline and Biscayne Bay. His 10,000 square foot apartment came with five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and as a thank you for the 28 MC spent on this place, it came fully furnished. But the best parts about living in this masterpiece are the four pools, one on the inside on the 61st floor, and the three on the outside by the palm trees. But see, David's lucky, man. He's even got a two floor personal gym, a movie theater, and just in case any of you weirdos try to sneak in, he's got a helipad with a helicopter on the roof. And with that, he can take flight to his even crazier house. A $33 million mega mansion. Just look at this. Man, this dude's got more houses than I got matches on Tinder. Must be nice. Oh, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> but for real, I can't even hate on this man. Right after he signed to the Galaxy on a $250 million contract, he celebrated and copped this Los Angeles mansion. Six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, an elevator, library. Dude's even got a recording studio if he ever wants to become the next little pump. But uh, low key, David let me know that he'll drop you an early link to his mixtape if uh, you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, what are you even doing? Click it right now, click it. But anyways, with palm trees surrounding the entire property, it gives David plenty of privacy whenever he pulls up in his Rolls Royces, Bentleys, and Ferraris. And if he's ever feeling like throwing the pool party of a lifetime, he's got that in the back too. But the craziest part is, all of this is nothing compared to Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah. Some athletes cop mansions, Ferraris, diamond rollies, but Ronaldo said, hold my beer. I'ma do something none of y'all can do. Dude's literally the only pro athlete with a house on his own private island. Dude not only spent over 50 million on houses, he spent another 50 mil to live on his own island. Bro, I don't even know if I'm gonna make rent this month and dude's out here doing that. I should've went to college or something. But uh, right when he cashed out on this, he had to flex it to his 284 million Instagram followers and let them know, yeah, it's really his island. 
But uh, I know what you're thinking, like, where's dude living on it? Well, you already know he copped something crazy. Or just took it, since it's his own island. I mean, I don't know how laws work there, I, I have no idea to be honest. But anyways, Ronaldo spends time there at his villa with a rooftop pool. And uh, he's got the perfect view of the Atlantic Ocean. So, it's a nice little escape if he wants to get away from his mansions in Italy and Portugal. But listen, 50 million dollars on homes may seem like a lot. But what he did for his family is worth way more than that. And it all started when he grew up in Portugal. See, as a kid, Ronaldo's family was down pretty bad. They moved from house to house. They starved. I mean, they even had to share beds. Like, it was crazy. But one day, Ronaldo, he woke up and he said, you know, enough is enough, man. He was tired of seeing his parents struggling so bad. So he made them a promise to become the greatest soccer player ever and to never see them hungry again. But that's when it happened. When Ronaldo was only 15 years old, he was rushed to the hospital. And doctors came to realize his heart was beating out of control. So they had to make a split second decision. If they didn't perform surgery immediately, not only would Ronaldo's career be over, so would his life. And his family might never make it out. So the doctors went to work. The surgery was a success. And even though Ronaldo's condition was something he never could have predicted, after a few weeks, he recovered back to 100%. But one thing was still on his mind, the promise. He guaranteed his family he would make it. And he wasn't gonna disappoint. He knew that his life could have ended at any second. So the fact that he could wake up and still play the sport he loved, he knew there was no way it could be a coincidence. And from that point on, he sacrificed everything. He trained day and night for his family. And as the years went on, eventually, Ronaldo did it. He turned himself into one of soccer's most legendary players. But most importantly, he gets to share that success with the family who got him here. Yeah, we see Ronaldo in his $10 million mansions, pulling up in his Bugattis, but he made sure that his mom, sisters, and brother all were taken care of first and got a roof above their heads before his own. And that's worth more than any house any athlete could ever buy.